Hi guys, welcome to the third part of tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make ears and tail of puppy. Okay, I'm going to start with ear, so start with magic ring and then chain one and this chain you have to count as single crochet because we are going to make single crochets into the magic ring and make eight single crochets into the magic ring so eight single crochets in magic ring plus one chain uh, is nine together so you'll get nine single crochets together Okay, now pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. And then we have to join the round with a slip stitch. Beginners count from the right side and you have to insert your hook into the eighth stitch. This is the right stitch. And make a slip stitch. Okay, from now we are going to work in a round. So use stitch marker and start in very first stitch. It's the stitch where you make a slip stitch and make two single crochets. And you will increase like this every stitch all the way around. So make two single crochets in each stitch around. And I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end. In the next round, make two single crochets in very first stitch. And in this round, we are going to increase uh, every second stitch. So this is one single crochet and two single crochets in very first stitch in this round. In next stitch, make just one single crochet. Now increase again, so make two single crochets in the same stitch and continue working two single crochets in every second stitch around. Now it's gonna be easier because you will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and in the second round, at the end of the second round of single crochets, make slip stitch and the third round start with chain one and then make a slip stitch at the end of the third round okay i have three rounds of single crochets at the end uh, i made a slip stitch and now flip the ear in half and now we are going to join both sides with slip stitches and use just uh, inner inner stitches so use on this side use just this back loop and on the other side use just this loop so use just inner loops and make a slip stitch and continue working like this to the end Okay, this is how it looks like and you have to make the second ear with exactly the same way. Then you can use just a sewing thread and needle, flip the ear like this and sew it together. Make uh, just a few stitches. And then you can sew it to the head with invisible stitch. Invisible stitch is the best way how to sew individual parts together. So it's up to you what stitch you will use. <laughs> uh, but I recommend invisible stitch. I have single video for invisible stitch. You can click the link in description of this video 
and uh, sew it around the ear with invisible stitch. And before you sew ears to the head, place ears to the head and um, use crochet hooks or stitch marker or pins with large head. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the tail of puppy start with a slip knot and then chain 13. Then we have to join this chain uh, in a circle. So insert your hook into the first uh, chain and make a slip stitch. Okay, now you can keep this tail for sewing or you can use just sewing thread and needle and in next round start in very first stitch. It's the stitch where you made a slip stitch and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet in each stitch around and I'm hiding the tail behind my work again because I will not use it for sewing. So make one single crochet in each chain around. In next round make one more round of single crochet. So make one single crochet in each stitch around. So now you can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of this round. In next round we have to decrease. So I'm going to decrease uh, with invisible way. Uh, so I'm using just front loops and uh, it's up to you if you will follow me or if you have maybe better way how to decrease. So I have decreased once on the beginning of this round and then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. So in this round we have to decrease once on the beginning. So on the beginning make two single crochets together. Okay, now uh, we are going to make two rounds of single crochets. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and to make two rounds. So two rounds of single crochets. In next round we have to decrease and increase as well and decrease on the beginning so make two single crochets together and then you have to increase on the other side so now make one single crochet in next four stitches okay and when you are on the other side you have to increase so here make two single crochets in the same stitch and we are doing this because I want to get twisted tail so it will go a little up okay and then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round and make two more rounds like this. So you have to make three rounds of this decrease and increase. So 
You can pause the video and then meet me back. Okay, I have done three rounds of decrease and increase and now we are going to decrease just. So decrease twice on the beginning of the round. So make two single crochets together twice. This is first decrease and this is second decrease in this round and then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round and again make three rounds like this. And write me here below the video if you will have any questions and at the end of the tail you will have six stitches left. Okay, this is how it looks like. You can cut the yarn, pull the yarn through and how I said you have six stitches left and you will close the hole with needle and use just front loop and that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.